Hey what's up guys, Tommy14 here and welcome to a new video on Assetto Corsa. Today we're going to be having a look at the new mod that's on Race Department, the Super GP car. It is a mixture of Formula 1 and IndyCar. The idea is having modern day Formula 1 technology with the close racing of IndyCar. So without further ado, let's get into the specs and have a look at this beast. So as we can see here, it has 1234.6 brake horsepower per tonne. 355 km per hour top speed and 0 to 100 km an hour in 2.4 seconds. Pretty damn quick, I have to say. I think that just looks cool, so we're going to go with that one. We're going to take it round the Nürburgring, but yeah, let's get into it and see what this beast is all about. So here we are, guys. We've loaded into our Super GT car, and I've got to admit, this livery looks pretty cool. I wish Formula 1 team would do something like this. But yeah, we're going to drive. Let's have a quick look at the cockpit view. No halo or aero screen or anything like that which I think is quite interesting it's got quite nice dimensions I have to say it's very it, it's perfect blend of both IndyCar and Formula 1 so it looks awesome in that aspect just have a look around of course I don't know how far into development this is this mod so this could be the final version it could be a you know a beta version but from the offset it looks pretty cool some of the textures could probably do with a bit of modern rendering like i think the wheels as we get behind the billboard brilliant i think some of the i think the wheels and the rims could probably be doing with a little bit extra but yeah let's have a listen to this bad boy see how it sounds Ooh, so it sounds like a, a v10 or a V12, which is pretty cool. It's, it's certainly not a V6 hybrid, so. <laughs> oh, we missed that sound from Formula One, but you know, you get with the times, cars don't sound like anything they used to back then. Still, that is pretty awesome, I have to say. Yeah, without further ado, let's get out onto track, which is what you've been waiting for. Okay, so from the offset, it sounds like it's got a Ferrari V10 engine from one of the Kunos Ferrari cars. It has, it, it's got decent downforce. It feels very light. I don't, I'd like to know what the the weight of the car is, but it, it feels fairly light as well. We're not pushing too hard on this outlap. Just going to get a feel of the car first. But from the offset, it gives you confidence. Okay, so we don't have any MGUH or MGUK. So it doesn't quite have Formula 1 technology, which my initial impressions from what I heard, it's got terrific downforce. But from what my initial impressions were from the description, I thought it would have like modern day Formula 1 technology mixed with sort of indie, a mixture of indie and Formula 1 aerodynamics but I have to say still a pretty cool car flicking it in here, good use of the curbs right let's get into the final corner, it's like it's a rail system God, how we do miss the sound of Formula One. Turn it into the first quarter, nice. From the F's offset with the default setup, it feels very balanced. We get a tad bit of understeer. I don't know whether it's got inbuilt traction control. I will try and floor it out of this quarter. Yep, inbuilt traction control as factory, so. You don't have to feel um, you don't have to feel as though you're cheating the system if you do run with traction control because the modder clearly designed this with traction control in mind. Oh. 
Yeah, as I say, from a cockpit view, textures don't really matter too much, but I do think the, the tyres retexture them. But I am just nitpicking at this point. This could be a really fun car to drive. Let's see how much curb it lets us take. Quite a lot, actually. Let's floor it into the final corner. Power out's naturally got a bit of understeer. It's very stiff, stiff on the suspension. But a 133.8. A 133.38, sorry. Ooh, a little bit of back end wriggle. I haven't adjusted anything in the setup, so this is a default setup. We naturally get a bit of understeer through there, so definitely need to play around with some setups to get the optimum out of this car. Okay, really not driving well now. I'd love to know what this is in comparison to the 2018 Formula Hybrid car because I, I think that might have the legs on this, but if it doesn't feel that much quicker... Oh! Get a lot of curb, a lot of slide there. Woohoo! Wow! Dragon hard turning in. Probably too low a gear through that, yeah. Stiff suspension mixed with not too much front downforce, a lot of understeer, but as I was saying, if this is quite close in comparison to the Formula Hybrid, then this could potentially be how the 2019 cars behave, obviously. They don't have traction control, they have the halo of course. Ooh, getting a lot of rear rotation there, might need to break, might need to bring the brake bias forwards just a tad, that was better through there. Starting to let the car roll into corners now before hammering the throttle. Let's try and be adventurous through here, oh too adventurous! That last lap was a 133.28, so we're going to go for, I think, a couple more laps. I'll just skip forward to my fastest lap, unless anything spectacular happened. Just natural understeer through there. 131.9. So we're under the 32 barrier. That we could get in, into a 130. I know that's a lot, but that's a balance of throttle through there. That's a lot smoother. Slightly over the white line, but that's okay. Be braver through here. Bit too slow into that right hand to still. Then too wide on there. So that's been the best lap so far though. Oh, unsettled the car through there, but still okay. Oh no, we've thrown it away. Right, last lap after this. Right, here we go. I'm going to be quiet on this lap so you can hear the car in all its glory. Not the best start to the lap, but let's go. So overall, what are my impressions of this car? Well, I think it's great fun. I think there are a few things about it which probably could do with a bit of improving, but as I say, I'm not sure how advanced this modder is that made this car, so I'm just grateful that it's there, really, because, you know, mods are hard to do full stop, let alone, you know, really solid mods, and 
it's a free mod, so I can't really complain. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's great fun. I'm not sure it really is technically a crossover of Formula One and IndyCar. It kind of just feels like a early 2000s Formula One car in the body of an indie car, I guess. Maybe if you raced it up against a few AI, you might sense that indie car sort of close racing feel, but honestly, it, it's just a great fun mod. It's not a mod I would recommend for sim racers. I think if you're just a casual Lissetto Corsa fan and you like to play with new mods that come out every now and then, I think this is great for that. But as I say, for your sim racer, I wouldn't personally recommend it. But anyway, let's get into the final scorings of this car. I'll do a five star score on five different points of mods. And yeah, this is something new for me. So don't, you know, if you have any disagreements or think something's higher or lower than it should be, then, you know, let me know. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So really the first thing I want to talk about are the physics of this car because in sim racing that's the most important part in my opinion. For me the physics of this car is going to get a 3 out of 5 stars which is about average I would say. That sums up this car best. It's an average representation of a single seater Grand Prix car. I wouldn't say it has a particularly detailed suspension model or sophisticated tyre model or anything. So. But, as I say, for your casual fan that just wants a fantasy formula car, or a fantasy indie car, it's, it's acceptable for what it is for a free mod, but for me, 3 out of 5 stars I think is probably the highest it deserves. Next up is graphical aspects of the mod, so the modelling, the textures, and for this I'm going to give it 2.5 stars just because I think the actual car model itself isn't too bad, but I think some of the textures are where it really sort of lacks with this car. So, for instance, the tyres and the rims, um, the cockpit's a little basic as well. Um, I say basic, it's okay, but I feel like there's some improvement there. But yeah, for me, two and a half stars. Maybe it's a bit harsh, but as I say, that's just my opinion. And my final point for this mod is, is it fun? And for me, yes, absolutely, this mod is great fun. As I've said in the previous points, it may be a basic physics model behind it. Aesthetically, it may not be as pleasing as some other mods. However, it's still a fun mod. At the end of the day, it's free, which makes it even more fun. You can just download it and just drive and the thing with this car is you can just drive it and do laps and laps and laps it's so easy to just pick up and drive the setup needs a little bit of work but other than that it's actually a fun car so for this it gets four stars for me because as i say the default setup is a little bit too i don't know it's a bit too understeer bias i mean i'm not particularly a fan of doing setups i don't really know too much about setting up a car but those that do will probably have fun with it but for me a default setup is what I traditionally do with any car that I have whether it be a mod car or a Kunos car or anything so for me four stars I think is a solid marking for fun factor of this mod and there you are guys that is my review of the Super GP car uh, as I say it's a fun mod it's free it may not be the best in certain aspects, but free mods never always are. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.